my name is Ben Ashman. I'm an aerospace engineer at NASA. I work in spacecraft navigation. So uh, navigating spacecraft involves uh, signal processing, so receiving signals, processing them for what we call radiometrics. You're extracting uh, position information from those signals, but it also involves flight dynamics. SCAN stands for the Space Communication and Navigation Office. So that's an office at NASA headquarters that oversees the networks for the agency. Uh, and there are field centers, so at Goddard Space Flight Center, JPL, um, Glenn Research Center that uh, perform the work of the program. Um, NASA's networks perform communications, so you have giant antennas on the ground that communicate with the spacecraft. Space exploration uh, is changing, uh, so we've had a maybe 60, 70 years of the space age up to this point. Um, and for a lot of that time, it's been dominated by a few national space agencies and some big companies. I could probably count just on my fingers. Uh, that's not the case anymore. So you have these up and coming small companies. You have a lot of academic entities involved in cutting edge research. Space is getting more accessible. So uh, students have many, many opportunities to get involved whether you're just using data from space missions to perform research, or maybe being directly involved in gathering that data uh, through a research project, whether a CubeSat, some sort of uh, small spacecraft building and designing activity, or engagement in a larger partnership. So students that are interested in space, uh, I have to, I'll, I'll, I'll caution first that it's, a, it's sort of math intensive. Uh, so I would definitely recommend uh, building up your foundation of skills. So that could take a lot of different forms. It could be chemistry, it could be physics, it could be uh, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. There are a lot of different areas for uh, technical expertise. Um, so building up that skill base, that foundation, I think is very critical. That's gonna open a lot of doors for you. So making sure that uh, maybe your goal is eventually to be involved in space, but uh, focus on all of those foundational skills. Maybe they're not directly space related uh, or don't seem immediately uh, applicable to space. I guarantee there is something uh, in space that needs uh, technical, the technical discipline that maybe you're working on and most attracted to. Beyond that, there are a whole wealth of uh, supporting areas. Um, so I mentioned policy is an area I think um, looking at space as an opportunity for uh, connecting different communities, uh, there's a whole diplomacy aspect. Um, I think that there's a business development aspect as well. So uh, building that foundation of skills and really dedicating yourself to being an expert in something, that's the way you start. Eventually you have to build out the breadth and understanding the way that things are interconnected and what the entire enterprise looks like. But giving yourself a foundation in some sort of expertise uh, is really gonna empower you in the future.